Robinson Lallin's family tells me they want answers from the MBTA about how this could have happened, saying the MBTA has told them nearly nothing. We were expecting it to happen the way it did. Robinson Lallin's older brother Oscar flew in from Texas to be with family after his brother's death. It's hard. We're trying to, we're trying to be strong right now. But there is no way to be strong to something like this. Investigators say 39 year old Lallin's right arm got stuck in the door of a red line train as it was leaving the Broadway station last month. According to a new preliminary report from the NTSB, a safety feature on the red line that should have stopped the train from moving if something was blocking the door failed. We deserve an apology. We, de we deserve something from the MBTA. They're, they're responsible for it. The family wants answers and to see the MBTA surveillance video from the night Lallin died. A family is in pain. A, 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 a valued family member was taken from us. Uh, haven't gotten any justice. We haven't gotten any answers. Lallin's nephew holds a sign outside the station, determined to get justice. I'll continue to be restless until I get some full answers or an apology from the MBTA. And, and someone, someone, I, we want to see the video. Lallin's family tells me he was laid to rest over the weekend. The MBTA in a statement saying it believes the train short circuited, causing the doors to close when they should have stayed open. The MBTA saying it's checked the entire red line fleet, but says it was never able to duplicate that problem.